Welcome to Flower Juice. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but modern table arrangement. And really what I have is I have a straight sided container in clear glass, some gravel to cover the bottom. I've got this open wreath. Now you'll find these at kind of Christmas time, but you could actually turn them to use at any time of year. I've got a few little uh, chrysanthemums and then we've got these yellow calla. So let's begin. What I want to do is put the gravel across the bottom of the container. So this is just going to hide the container and create a base for our design. And just to make sure that we have a water source, I'm going to add some water. And you can make that as deep or as uh, shallow as you want, but you do want to make sure that your stems are in the water. Now with the little Kermit croissants, I'm just going to cut off some heads and just float them in. So this is going to give us some depth in our arrangement. And we don't need loads, we just want a few different sizes and just to float them. So if you've got a croissant that's a bit broken, then you can actually just make use of those individual heads. So I'm just placing them in and they just attract the eye and they will move around, but it doesn't really matter. So you remember to use some smaller ones as well. That's probably enough. So for my wreath, what I want to do is I want to just feed a few of these through. So you've got a nice open framework to work with here. And I'm going to feed three through. And really, this is going to fit in the base. So I just discovered that these, these wreaths, it's a perfect fit. And then we can use this framework to bring our calla lily stems back through the arrangement. Now I've got more callas here. So because we've got these stems up here, then what we can do is we can use these for support for other ones that will be on top. So I'm going to just weave these in. And again, making sure that I thread that stem down so that we get the stem into water so that everything is going to last. Now, if you find that your callas are not really that flexible, a good trick is just to leave them out of water for a while and they will become much more flexible. Now, if you want, you can secure your flowers with some of this paper covered wire. But to be honest, if you don't need it, then I wouldn't worry about it. Depends where you're going to place your flowers. If it's for home, then really it doesn't need to be so transportable or um, so rugged as you might have as if you were doing it in a work situation. So I'm just looking for spaces looking for opportunities to move these flowers. Now that one's actually got a little bend in it. That will spoil the line off the arrangement. So what we'll do is we'll just recut it and bring that in. And actually bringing that into the middle is good because that's taking the visual weight back to the center. This one's a lighter one. So we will just have that one at the top. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Essentially, we've got some interest at the bottom to take your eye in, but really the interest is in the stems of the calla lilies and in the colour itself. An easy arrangement, worth giving it a go. I hope you've enjoyed watching our video today and please subscribe to our channel where we can update you with all our videos. Thank you very much for watching.